Hey guys, it's Tom from Six Foot Networks. Apologies for the noise. I am standing inside of a data center in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, I've been uh, here several times over the last few months trying to diagnose a uh, poor performance and some file corruption issue with the Apple XAN at this facility. Now this system, this Apple XAN was put in back in uh, 2009 uh, by Apple, by Apple Enterprise when they were still around. And uh, to some extent, I believe that they did it incorrectly. Um, and uh, that's purely my, my personal opinion with regards to experience and things that I've learned over you know, the last 10 years or so. One of the pitfalls that I see with this system, and I'll, I'll move up here so you can see it, is the system was originally installed with these uh, copper, uh, I guess they're twin axe cables, four gigabit uh, cables that directly connect into the host bus adapters on both the servers and the storage side. Now. The thing with any XSAN or any SAN in general that you have to understand is that it's basic connectivity, it's high speed connectivity is through some form of fabric, be it fiber channel, which is what this is, or some other uh, InfiniBand or iSCSI configuration. But uh, in this case, we're talking about fiber channel, and uh, basically, you can see here, this bundle that I'm holding here is all of the cabling that I am uh, referring to as being kind of out of date, kind of out of spec. You can see that I've slowly started installing some of the uh, optical uh, multi-mode cable here and I've noticed that there are certain parts of the sand that are performing a little bit better because uh, this cable, this stuff here, is only rated to four gigabit. So I'm starting to remove that and hopefully I can double the performance, uh, at least in theory. But you can see here that I have a whole bunch of this stuff that I have to basically replace. And uh, I'm gonna do it while the system's live. Uh, it's probably a bad idea, but this is one of those facilities that panics when the word shutdown is uttered. So I'm going to do it after hours, and I'm going to do it while it's live, so that way there's uh, continuity and, and log progression, because that's what they look at. Uh, and I'm going to do it carefully, and hopefully I can do it without causing any uh, file system issues. The good thing about this is a lot of the storage, I'll show you this one here. A lot of the storage is actually redundant. It has redundant connections that go into the storage array. Uh, sorry about that. You can see it here. There's four connectors here that ultimately, that ultimately connect the storage to the fabric, the fiber channel fabric. And then, of course, there are several servers here that I've already replaced um, the fiber channel back in here with optical cables. So, took care of that. That's how I knew that the performance increased a little bit. And here's the cables that came out of those uh, ports, which I'll remove at some point. There'll be a cabling cleanup in here because uh, I hate this. I hate this very much. So anyway, join me. Uh, I'll do a time lapse of this so you don't have to watch this because it's probably gonna take me about an hour, an hour and a half, or maybe even two hours, depending on how long it takes me to fish these wires out. And uh, let me know what you think. Uh, just trying to do my part as a you know consulting engineer down here to see if I can at least improve a little bit of the performance of this particular system. Like I said, the system was put in back in 2009 by Apple Enterprise, and uh, it was uh, a project that was relatively expensive, and it blew the books uh, badly, uh, so they had to cut corners. 
but in an effort to make it work, they used these, uh, you know, these copper cables that, uh, in my opinion, should never have been designed, but they were originally designed for the old Exurb raids, which were um, very slow arrays to begin with. They should have been phased out many, many years ago after, uh, you know, 2011, 2012, when Apple stopped the enterprise line of products. So anyway, I'm going to get to this and uh, you guys tag along.